Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Kay. I'm Anna Mae. And welcome to The Chicane, Chicane Pod. Pod. So this episode is titled, well, welcome first to The Chicane Pod. We're not welcoming you. We're welcoming you. You turned it on. That means you, 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 you know why you're here. <laughs> but no, welcome, guys. Sorry, my bad. Welcome. Um, I think I'm so eager to, you know, to talk about this. To but unpack. There's basically, a lot this, to unpack. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> So this episode is titled, Anime came up with this, by the way, guys, just so you know. Yeah, because I didn't want to be too out of order. But eh? This episode is called Fake Activists. <coughs> um, what Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. That's what it's I called. I didn't know that bit, the sidebar. Eh? So that was anime. <laughs> anyway, so obviously you guys have been begging us to discuss this topic since the whole scandal broke approximately <laughs> two weeks ago. So you give me two weeks. It's, I it's think been about, it's coming up to two weeks now. Yeah, maybe two weeks. It's been a while. So basically, as we all know, Murad Morelli um, has been, he's a YouTuber, a British YouTuber. Um, he's Bengali, Yemeni, Arab, Pakistani. <laughs> He's, 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 he's um, Ethiopian. He's, he's Ethiopian. Turkish. He's Turkish. He's, he's got so many different yeah. um, um, mixtures, yeah. which makes him very interesting, to be honest. Exactly. But, you know... Um, anyway, so he he is a British YouTuber and and he's he's rose to prominence more recently in the past year or so for his Love Island reactions. Now that's not all he does. I mean, we've been watching him for years from when he was in his bedroom um, talking against a blue wall. I think when he was still at uni, even before yeah, the blue wall, he used to wear Polo X. <laughs> so we've been watching him for a while, and I think when we discovered him was when um, Backchat started. Was it Backchat? It was yeah, before. He, 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 he was covering Backchat, but it was No, but I'm, but I'm saying I'm, I, when I personally started watching him properly was when, when we started reacting to Backchat. We did, a couple, of, we did a couple of episodes. Was it Backchat? He did. He, I know he um, covered Backchat. Yeah, but I'm saying we, I'm talking about us. Before, the first YouTube videos he was that we put that. up. He was, he was covering um, Real Hustles of Atlanta. He was doing, we, no, we were watching him before that. Well, oh. I don't know. I just know that for me, when I came to, you know, kind of noticed him was when, during the Backtrack days, that there wasn't a lot of people at those times covering um, uh, quote unquote urban content. And we literally... Well, at the at that moment, at that time, we had a YouTube channel that was doing mainly music reactions. But when Backchat came along, we were so excited to kind of see a little bit of representation that we did, that we covered it as well. Mm. And that was when I kind of noticed him. And I think the reason why I noticed him more so is because obviously, clearly, he's not black. And he was, it, it, it was almost a little bit weird for me because I was kind of like, mm, this is interesting. Like a non-black person almost inserting themselves in black Things, but it kind of it was it was interesting for me because even though he's not black, he surrounded himself with a lot of black people at uni. So it was kind of like okay, whatever in it. Like I didn't really see it as that big a deal. But as time went on, his voice got louder and louder and louder, and that was when I think I kind of started paying a little bit more attention because I was kind of like okay, what is it about this guy that is drawing black people to him, specifically black women? Exactly. And the more I watched his content, I realized that, okay, this guy blatantly is going to the comments of all of, of Twitter, going to all of the comments of all, whether it's the Shade Room, Shade Borough. At the time, it wasn't the Shade Borough. It was things like, um, there were um, UK, there, gossip. UK Gossip. There were other like blogs and he would go there, read the comments. And then basically that, was, that would be what he would revolve his commentary around. And he noticed that there was a gap in the market, clearly, of people, men, specifically discussing topics that black women could relate to. And I think he found a niche in the market and he ran with it. Mm. Um, so obviously anybody that knows anything about the scandal knows that up until, uh, up until a couple of years ago, as well as covering Love Island content, he also would insert himself in quite political, politically sensitive subjects regarding black women, black people period, and black pop culture, you know? And I think a lot of the times it would kind of rub us up the wrong way a little bit because it almost felt like why are black women giving this man such a big platform when there are other black creators, black men that are also voicing. So a lot of the time we would shout out, you know, Little Black Book, um, um, Fred, Stone. Fred Stones um, at the time. Um, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Sideman. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sideman at the time was was really heavy on on um, YouTube. There were quite a few black um, content creators, but it, it, it never 
I never understood why they were gravitating towards Murad until I realized that it's because he was amplifying the voices on the blogs that were in the comments. Mm. It's like he was reading what was in the, and then he would base his view. It's very clever. They obviously were, now, but obviously he's, he's a, he's a psychologist. So they were doing that as well though. No, but not the way he was though. Mm. I think Murad's one, Murad's, Murad's, Murad's content to me, I understand why people say that he panders. I understand why, because let, let's give an example. Love Island, when the when the audience turned against Dami, he turned against Dami. Yeah. And then when he turned against Dami and India and he got called out against it, he turned to the tide again. Yeah. So he's like, he, he feel like he's, he's, he's a flip-flopper, he, but we don't flip-flop. Massive flip-flopper. He, when it came to the, the whole Dami thing, he was actually the one driving it. It wasn't the audience turning first. He was part of no, the- No, it was- He, he, he was- on Twitter, Twitter was, was ablaze with the whole- Yeah, thing. because he, because from the beginning he, okay. It wasn't just him. So hold on, hold on. I think you've kind of summarized some of. I've summarized some of, the, the, the 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 history. Well, some of it, some of it, but I think also as well, I think it's important to to note that because I started watching Mirage before Backchat. I was watching Mirage when he his channel. I think when he had like ten thousand subscribers. Well, we very, were watching very, him very before little, you were. Very little subscribers, and <laughs> he, you know, he he used, he used to wear polo necks. And he was quite noticed. He, he was he was in uni. I think he studied psychology and neuro neuroscience or something like that. So you know he he understands how the mind works. He understands the art of manipulation. He understands how people work. So there was that. I think with with regards to Marad pandering, I think that Marad no, it's surrounding himself. He surrounded himself with a lot of black people at uni. But I think one of the things that I annoyed me about the whole Murad thing was not necessarily Murad because I felt like Murad it was manipulating a, a, a gap in the market just like any other con content that's creator. That's what I said. He saw so a I gap think, and he ran with it. So I think he would he was manipulating a, a gap in the market the way anybody was. But I think that what pissed me off more about Murad was his followers. That is what annoys me about Murad because for me. First of all, I didn't understand how the black women that were amplifying him couldn't understand that they, how they were being used and couldn't see through what he was doing. And second of all, it, it was kind of like, why can't you do both? Like, like, why are you, how do you feel comfortable supporting a non-black content creator that is speaking on things that don't concern him, but in the same vein, you're not supporting the black content, the black content creators that are doing the exact same thing that he's doing. I think that if you, if they were doing both, then I'd be like, okay, well, mm. you know, it's all fair, isn't it? <laughs> but it's like a lot of the black women that were supporting Mirage were deliberately not. They weren't supporting us. Okay, for example, BLM. Mirad made videos filming himself making sandwiches for the protesters, buying water, buying water that he was going to give out. <laughs> Amber from Love Island was there helping him pack the bags. You know, they were making content. Oh, he, he, oh, he's a black activist. He's making sandwiches for... Oh, come <laughs> on. No, I'm just saying that. <laughs> yeah, but what? Now, what hold on. No, no, the point I'm making is that if what you're doing is genuine, we did shit. Yeah. But we didn't set up, a, set up a camera, a tripod, a ring light. Nah, look. Show me that. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying how... Why couldn't people see through the fake activism? Like, I don't understand. Like, okay. if what you're doing... Now, hold on. Let me finish. I'll let you finish. When it's just like when people give money to homeless people and they film it and they put it online, you're doing are you genuinely doing it because you want to give them money or are I you doing it to create? No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying how sometimes, sometimes you can do things because you're paving it forward. But I feel like what Murad was doing was very, very dicey anyway, because you're already inserting yourself into into, into a culture that you're literally a guest. You're a guest here and you're centering yourself. If Murad was genuinely an activist for the black community and or not even for, he, he was genuinely an activist for, you an know, ally. The, an, an, a, ally. an ally, an activist, whatever you want to call it. If he was definitely, if he was, if his role was, was purely to amplify, then that's what he would be doing. But one of the things that I didn't like about Murad is that he would center himself in his allyship. It felt like Murad's ally, Murad's activism and his, whatever he was doing, it felt like he was centering himself rather than amplifying the voices around him. And black- What do you black, mean by centering himself? So, okay, so for example, right? If, if, if we raise, a, a, we've spoken about things that happen in Palestine or things that happen in different cultures that are outside of the black community, right? But we haven't put ourselves at the center in it and said, okay, everybody, everybody follow me. We've kind of like said, okay, these are other content creators that you should follow 
that are in the community. Mm -hmm. These are the people that are closer to what's going on. So deal with them basically, but we're basically bringing awareness to this. We're using our platform to amplify it, but we're not making it about us. I, I don't think that's a good example when it comes to Murad. I, I think a good example when it comes to Murad is the way he went about the whole your one day thing. But it's that the same is, thing. No, the, that, that, that is a better illustration. Mm. Oh. I, I mean, the way he went about the whole you one day thing and the way he, the way he basically made it, he, he basically made statements. I, I need to go and find it, but he basically made statements saying that people only started listening to me one day when he brought attention to the unfair treatment that she was receiving. That's one that, That's one example. But another example is, is that instead of making yourself a representative of the black community, why didn't he highlight other people and say- I agree with that. Do you understand? Like, why are you making yourself the, why are you making yourself the face and of the it? the reason why he's making himself the face of it is because people were, 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 were even supporting him to do it. Yeah, because the, the BLM, I get why Shay is saying that the BLM thing isn't a good example, only because everyone filmed themselves mm. at the BLM. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about just BLM. I'm talking about black issues in general. Yeah, okay, so that ties in I'm with saying the in general. I'm saying yeah, in general. It's the BLM I, thing. For, for me, it was the way he handled the whole, you know, I, I, feel, like we, I feel like in terms of the whole your one day situation and the whole your one day babes and whatever, you know, I think obviously there was a big um, consensus on Twitter that the way your one day was treated was, you know, there was a lot of, you know, th that whole season amplified the issue with colorism and the issue with lack of representation of black people on these programs, which we've, we've, we've spoken about constantly, which is why initially, why we didn't want to, when, when I talk about Love Island because of this very issue, but when was the first one, what was the first one at a season that we discussed Love Island? It was your it was one, the day. one day one. Yeah, and obviously we were going on and on about it and obviously social media was going on about it and he now carried your one day on his head and even, um, you know, the way he was... He, when, we say, when I say carry on his head, we mean that he, he, he carried the matter on his head and he almost sent his whole... Um, <laughs> chat around your one day, your one day, your one day. And I think that obviously made a lot of black women gravitate towards him as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but it's annoying though, because it's kind of like why we were talking about it. And, and, and even before Mirage jumped on the bandwagon and started talking about it, other black content creators have been talking about the lack of representation and, and, colorism. and colorism for years. And it's ZZ like, Mills. Yeah, ZZ Mills, you know, you might not like her delivery, but she's she's been she's been highlighting it in in the in the in, in the entertainment industry, in you know, in Love Island, in, in wherever, you know, and a lot of content creators have been, but they don't black content creators, but black people weren't giving them the same support that they were giving Mirage and mm -hmm. putting Mirage off like Mirad was some kind of like mm -hmm. white savior. They were giving they were they were they were directing this whole white savior complex onto him. So and he and him yeah. being a him being a, a psychologist and understanding the black psyche, he knew what was going on. He knew that it was a lot of coonery going on. Mm. There was a lot I of- I was waiting for that word. You yeah. haven't said it all, you haven't said it in two, two episodes. What happened? Yeah. There was a lot of coonery oh, going on. TCA, the Twitter Coon Association were there, you know, obviously- To be fair, Twitter doesn't love Murad like that. They like him, but they not- They did. They look- You, they you all are just woke now well. because you you've look, seen exactly. him putting feet in black men's mouth, calling them oh, niggas. God. Now all of you lot, now all of you lot are woke, but you yeah. lot have been you kissing were Mara's kissing, ass. You were kissing his ass. Mara's defenders would come to our page and say, oh, you lot are haters. Yeah. You lot- Come on. They Sh came Chicane, at us on Twitter and on YouTube. <laughs> Chicane <laughs> called Mara's. Chicane had been calling Mara's <laughs> get cards. Fred. Yeah. Right. Fred Stone, we love you. We uh, love you, yeah. But you know, the algorithm is a dangerous thing. <laughs> a video came up in our timeline that Fred put up two years ago, basically. And the title was something like, is, is Mara a culture vulture? vulture? Yeah. And in that, Mara in that video, Fred was basically defending him, saying that he's not a culture vulture. So I think in this video, a particular somebody, we're not going to mention their name, went on a rant. <laughs> so the Shade Borough posted a video of oh, an yeah. uh, uh, influencer, oh, basically... Um, I wasn't really calling her an influencer, but... Oh, God. Get the Shade Borough put up a, 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 vid a video of um, <laughs> an influencer going on a rant basically about Murad, that the fact that he inserts himself in black spaces and that he doesn't behave like an ally, he almost, he, and he, he centers himself. Basically repeating and what we've been saying. What we've been saying, yeah. basically. So um, they put them on the Shade Borough and obviously the Shade Borough dragged her. The people in the comments dragged her and Fred Stones um, did a video about it. Mm. So in the video, he basically was saying that he thinks that the woman is misinformed. And um, I didn't watch the whole video, but that was kind of the gist of it. So it's funny because people in the comments are in the comments basically saying, this didn't age well, did it? Mm. This didn't age well, did it? And then somebody even said, I think you owe Chicane an apology. 
which I thought was interesting. I was like, what we got to do with yeah. this? Yeah, us. You know? Obviously, our. No, because we've been saying. Yeah, because our, our people that are true to Chicane and, and our followers and that have been following us for a while know that we've been calling Mirage out. Well, I, in particular, <laughs> have been calling Mirage. Because obviously, these two I didn't want to do all that. But you, we've just been more subtle. You just we've been, been more going subtle. Guns blazing. Yeah, and I think the reason why we have been is because I'm mindful of the fact that people are going to see free black women and call us bullies, you know, and say that, you know, we're just free black bullies coming to bully, bully. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's always bully, bully, bully. And I feel like people don't even realise their biases when they make these kind of statements. It's like, we can't have an opinion. If we have an opinion, we're bullies. And it's annoying you know I mean? because it's kind of like, we're free black bullies, but Malad used, Mirad uses his platform to literally drag people. Every video is dragging people. When people make apology videos, like his shit apology oh. video, talking about all the things that he was talking about rather than just address the issue and apologize for being racist, you know? People, he, he would pick apart videos like that all the time. What would Murad say about his apology video? Right, so let's talk about what happened. So, oh, a cu- so, so let's talk about it. So a couple of weeks ago, a story broke. I think it was, I think it was literally the day after the Love Island final. Yeah. So that um, the story broke that um, Murad in previously was um, a sex worker. So um, the kind of sex work that he did was he- Foot fetish. Foot fe- foot, it centered around foot fetishes and men paying him to degrade, almost like a, a cross between BDSM. fetish and BDSM. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there would be a lot of physical violence that so he would use his feet, his big feet to kick them. Size 12, so, apparently. Oh, is he size 12? Apparently. Oh, wow. So um, he would use his size 12. Wide fit. To, to, oh God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> they would use these size twelves to slap them with his with his feet, <laughs> and he would be filming it. So the, yeah. the, at the camera angle, he would have the camera filming them. The men, some of the men would mask. Some of them would have their full face showing. So he would use his feet to slap them. Some of them he would choke them with his toes, put his toes in their mouth. You know, it, it's very. There was even one that he was getting the person. He had like um, toenail clippings, and a, yeah, and a person was eating and their the toenail clippings. So he yeah. was feeding the person toenail drink clippings, urine. Drink, yeah. my, drink my urine, and. While all of this is going on, he's degrading them. So a lot of the... the Talk about his name. We're going to get to that. So, hey, there's too much. Marad. Marad, you've (laughs) outdone yourself. Marad. This might even have to be two two videos. (laughs) Two hata. So anyway, anyway, apart from all of the the, 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 the disgusting acts that they were doing, on top of that, he would degrade them... um, call them names based on their ethnicity. So there was race play at play as well. So he he had um, a, a guy that seemed East Asian, but when he was abusing him, he would say to him, um, he would call him at the C word. You guys work it out, you can mm. Google it. Um, he had um, um, a white guy. I think the white guy was from was Hungarian. Mm. So he would refer to his um, his um, his nationality being a Hungarian, whatever. Then obviously those were the first videos that came out. So everybody initially was holding their breath because everybody was saying there has to be videos of him saying using the N word. There has to be. No, but, but there was one picture of him which looked like him with a, a, a black man and the title, the, the whole description of that video, he was using the N word. Now, the reason why this was problematic for us mainly, and I think most people didn't really pick up on this, and this is why I mentioned Murad's ethnicity in the beginning, was because Murad claims that he's Arab. And his sex word, sex name was Arab Master. Arab, Arab boy? Arab boy. Arab Master, master boy, boy or something. Boy. Arab Master boy or something. Right. Now, being somebody that is an ally for black people, he, he already knows. There's even a video that came up in our algorithm of Murad talking about how he discovered how slavery started with the Arabs. You know what I mean? Mm. So for you to now be an ally for black people and then you go and call yourself Arab Master Boy, to me, I was like, that is probably the most sickest part of the whole thing. Yeah. Because you know what you're doing. Like yeah. it's not coming from a place of ignorance. Like you've literally researched, like he literally did a 20 minute video talking about the dynamics of racism in, in Arab countries, about the fact that him being part Arab, apparently he's not, but whatever. Him being part Arab, he didn't actually know that Arabs were basically started the slave trade and and how you know there's so much racism with like a lot of like african immigrants going to arab countries and being mistreated and like he he spoke about it in depth about the about the ingrained racism especially because a lot of arab most arab countries are muslim countries as Mm -hmm. well so you've got that cross complexity complexity of Mm -hmm. you know racism within religion and racism like so he 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 was Mm -hmm. well informed so, so you do so, that and then you call yourself Arab Master Boy and then behind closed doors and then inside, outside, you now come out and you do activism. So 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 I, I think most people were upset because 
like you said, he built his whole platform around being an ally, specifically towards margin, marginalized groups, but mainly, even though he himself is from multiple marginalized groups, mm. he focused his, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yeah, he focused his activism on black people because he knows that with black people, we've got an open door policy. Oh, anyone, free for all. As long as you can do the Everyone, electric slide. Yeah, can, oh, everyone's invited oh. to the barbecue. It's like, <laughs> we don't filter people. Even though we know we're gonna get, we, we, we know they're gonna turn around and do something fucked up. We still give people the benefit of the doubt. Whereas, how many black content creators are doing, are building their platforms, doing videos about the Asian community or doing videos on, do you know what I mean? How and many- that, and that, I think that was one of the discussions that we had initially when we brought it up and we were like, you know, the Asian community would not be so inviting to allow a black content creator to come and start discussing their issues. Mm. You know what I mean? So why are we as the black community, why are we so open? So what, you know what, so, I mean? so, so what happened when you saw the video, the first video of him with the um, guy, him saying the N word? Because obviously up until that point, it was literally screenshots. Yeah. And because mm. I was trying to remember if he did his apology video. It was before. before it was before the actual video. I, so so, so I, I saw the video. I saw the video before he did his apology. Video. Okay, I think I... Yeah, we saw it, the we video, but it, had, it was real. Yeah, but because what happened was... Okay, so, so basically, after he got... Before he got exposed, a video was released of him calling a black guy the N word, but funky. his voice, but his voice was distorted yeah. in that video. You could clearly see it was the same setting, the same mm. room, but his voice was distorted. So Murad, when it had gone viral, Murad put out an apology video. It wasn't, and, and that's, that's what I want to talk about. Do you think that was an apology? No, he, he didn't, didn't say sorry. sorry once. He literally went, yeah, he, <laughs> we need to his stop calling apology it an apology video. Okay, well, just say somewhere. apology video. Yeah. His apology video was literally the apology videos that he was criticizing yeah. throughout. Like, yeah. you know, when Shane Dawson done his apology, those kind of things he that he would criticize, he literally done the same thing. He didn't focus on the actual issue at hand and apologize about it. He went into his childhood trauma and obviously he went down the, you know, uh, obviously it, it was horrible what happened to him, yeah? Mm. And no one, no one's debating that. But the fact that he focused most of the video on that Mm. obviously getting you're getting the guilt the mm-hmm. the people to to feel oh, bad and you know almost forget what the actual topic is that you should be saying sorry about instead yeah. you're talking about your tra- your trauma so it wasn't an apology video I, I don't even know what it was more it just made it worse i would i i, I would call that a justification video that's I'm what trying it was. to justify yeah because he was literally justifying why you know why he had the fetish and, for, and 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 i think for most of the people that saw the videos and saw we don't you can put your feet wherever yeah. you want to put your feet like we don't actually care but i think it was it was almost like double insult because you you make your money he at that point he had 300,000 subscribers he, he celebrated 300,000 subscribers he had just done an ex uh, um islander um love islands launch yeah. finale, party. finale party where the majority of the people went there were black women yeah, clapping, clapping for Murad. I think he even burst into tears with his suit. You know, he's wearing a three-piece suit. You know, he's, <laughs> yeah, you know. It was two piece. It was two piece. All right, a two-piece suit. You know, he went there with, with a full suit in the middle of summer <laughs> to go and do, to go and host his party. You know, black women were there cheering for him, you know, buying his tickets. I'm sure he made a, a cool, a cool hop. We don't know how much. Anyway. He made a cool cash. He made a cool cash from that thing. You know, black women lined in his pockets yet yeah, yeah, again. And on top of it, he celebrated 300,000 subscribers, right? What's he on now? Well, well, well his, num- his numbers yeah, have dropped. dropped. Yeah. But the bottom line is that he's he made most of his income from being a quote unquote ally, right? And then behind closed doors, you're basically using the trauma of black people and other marginalized groups to make your money, so it's like you're, it's like you're making money from, from both sides. From you're making money from being defender. You're making money from being a perpetrator, oppressor. <laughs> you know, so it's like you're 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 joining forces. That's good. You know? that's, so, that's that's a clever um, double. I mean, obviously, you're, yeah, you're resourceful. Mm. I give you that. Mm. I give you that. But but so so I think initially when he released his justification video, a lot of the comments were kind of like, oh, you know, defending him because at that point the real nigga video hadn't come out. Mm. It was the doctor video that had come out. So people were kind of people like, People hadn't oh. even seen that though. People hadn't seen the doctor A lot of video. people were, had no, seen I, it. Though, I think people were just him. focusing People on were focused on the, the caption. Writing. Yeah. yeah. The, so the, so, yeah. so when, when the video first came out, sorry, when he made his justification, he was basing it on 
the they, so so there was a uh, yeah so there was a screenshot with him with a with a black guy and underneath that screenshot he said oh I'm a, you're a nigga lover like oh, nigga 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 monkey mm. he was saying oh oh say kiss some say stuff feet. like kiss my Arab feet that like, this is the this is the closest you're gonna get to greatness as a mm. broke nigga like there was so much God, that caption that. Oh. that caption was deep <laughs> whoever wrote that caption must have been vexed we anyway, know we wrote we it. Know it. anyway anyway the point was <laughs> whoever wrote that what. Anyway, he this is every single slur. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, 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 it's from his website because we found his website. Uh, oh, and I may have found it. So it's from his website. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, true, so anyway, you can't lie, it is, Arab boy. We it, saw it. It is, he's not Arab, though, is he? He's not Arab. He's, Sorry, he's Yemen. Yemenin. Arab. Yemenin. I don't know what it's Yemeni. Yemeni. Anyway. Um, when he so when the justification video came out, obviously he was talking from a, a point of almost yeah. A point of arrogance. It felt almost like I did not write those captions. It wasn't me. Da, 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 blah blah blah. Because I'm obviously, just here to, I'm just here talk to, to talk about my feet. And, and I think the reason why he he came out like that is because obviously we hadn't discovered the nigger videos at that point. I had. No, we no, no. I mean the the general the public. Scenes. Okay. The general yeah, public. because obviously we we saw the the nigger videos, but like anime said, the voice was distorted. So even we couldn't. Uh, we knew it was him. But, but we knew he could get out of it. Yeah, yeah, was there. yeah, yeah. And he didn't address it. Mm. He didn't address it because at that point he didn't have to. But literally the day after he dropped his justification video, the videos dropped mm. everywhere. So when you read his comments, the tone of the comments completely changed. Like basically you need to go. Da, 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 da. And I think for me, like, so, so the reason why, let's address the reason why we didn't do our response straight Hold away. Can I just make a comment about the, what you just said about the tone of the comments changing? Yeah. So a lot of, people so a lot of like south asian east asian people that fell into the other group marginalized groups that he was doing his bdsm with mm. they called out a lot of black people because they were saying that why are black people only talking about him because oh well he didn't say call anybody a nigger so we ain't got an issue with it kind of a thing mm. and for me i feel like you're a racist you're a racist you've you've built your brand on defending all marginalized groups. Mm. So obviously him using black um, slurs that affect the black community, it hits deeper because I'm a black woman, right? Yeah. However, it was out of order when it was just the 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 the, the, the Asian man that he was yeah. insulting. It was yeah. out of order when he, I think there was even a white man that he was calling a- That's what a, I said, Hungarian. No, but there was a British- Oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, there was a British one as well. Yeah, yeah. there was there was a British man that, that, that he was insulting. And I think even in his write up, he was, he was, he was, playing on the whole white versus Asian thing as well. Okay. So he was saying that, oh, that he wants a, a, a white man to master him. Because obviously he, under oh, yeah, do you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's like he understands racial dynamics. He understands the fact that obviously white people are higher in, not higher, but you know what I mean? Yeah, in, in racial of white supremacy. Yeah, instead of white work, supremacy, yeah. he, he understands that. Mm. So it's kind of like, and you're using that to to play on, even if it means you degrading yourself because mm. you want to just get that bag, innit? it's all about the bag. It's all about the money, money, money for him, isn't it? Mm. You know, but my issue is that I didn't like the fact that people that were defending him in the comments were only upset. Some of the people were only upset when it came to him cussing black people, but everybody else, they didn't care. Mm. And my thing is, no, you're disgusting for all of it. Mm. So anyway, go and talk no, about think, why, why we didn't want to. I think that's a really good point, actually. I think that's because I think, I think, you know, that was another reason why we didn't want to speak when it first happened, because immediately the story broke. People were coming to us on Twitter like, Chicane, you need to speak, you need to speak. But at that point, because he hadn't mentioned black people, it seemed as though he hadn't. And, he, you know, we didn't want to come out and say anything. And also as well, another reason why we didn't want to say anything was because, we wanted to wait for his apology video to drop. And when it did drop and it wasn't an apology, it was a justification. He, late, um, towards the end of the video, he mentioned the fact that he wanted to commit suicide and he wanted to die and all of this. And we were kind of like, if we talk about it now, they're definitely going to call us free black bullies. So Shay, you can know? I just correct you though? It wasn't because he wasn't talking about black people that, that we didn't- No, 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 that, was, that, wasn't, no that, that, wasn't, that, that wasn't the only reason, but that was one of the reasons for me. My main reason was, because obviously that, apology video before i saw the apology apology video i saw a snippet of him saying he wanted to take his life i saw it on twitter yeah and i was like yeah i'm not yeah because I'm of that but it wasn't because he wasn't talking about yeah for no, me it, it wasn't, wasn't it was a mixture it, for me it was a mixture of everything because i didn't want it to be like he hasn't mentioned black people he's only he's only mentioned asians and white people and then oh here comes chicane looking for an opportunity to attack attack, mm. attack Marad. it doesn't concern us because we're not we're not asian and we're not white do you know what i mean so that's the reason for me i was kind of like we have to wait for the n-word video to drop we have to like that, that 
I'm sorry, I'm keeping it real. Yeah. But it pisses me off though, because it's kind of like black people, when racism affects us, we want everybody to be concerned. No, I you get it. I mean? but so no, 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 I, no, I understand why you're saying it. Mm. Because obviously we're thinking about ourselves as and, and the optics and the fact that we already have history of this whole Maraud thing. Mm. We already know how exactly. we already know how had TCA are gonna come and chat shit. So we're thinking about it not because we don't want to say anything, because we wanted to say something. Mm. It's just mm. that we were thinking about it in terms of when are we gonna say something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah. so the so the justification video dropped and obviously he mentioned the fact that first of all he mentioned essay, you know, I think we can all figure out what that is. And you know, to be honest, I, I think it's very clear that we're not Marad's, um, fa- um, you know, he, he's number one fans. However, the, the the SA that he described was absolutely horrific. And we want to, you know, our heart, my heart goes out to him for that. Because at the end of the day, for me, it was, it was absolutely disgusting. Mm. Do you know what I mean? What he went through. And especially as a child, at any age, to be honest, but especially as, as a child. And he also mentioned that some of it took place in a mosque. Which, as a uh, him being a Muslim, must be even more traumatic. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, these are all allegations and these are all his words. I want everybody to know that we're not saying that we know this is a hundred percent true, but I would like to think that it is true, and he, he wouldn't use something like that to, to, for sympathy. But regardless of this, if it's true, I'm really praying that anybody that was triggered by that gets the help that they need, and he gets the help that he needs to deal with that. Now, when he now spoke about SA and the kind of things that he experience during his essay he basically said that he thinks that was basically what made him develop his foot fetish and I think that's why people were upset because people were like okay that doesn't actually have anything to do with why we're upset with you like you can have any every a lot of people have got fetishes that people would that the general public are going to be like "Mm, that's a bit weird but that doesn't mean that you should you know it, it 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 just says a lot about integrity, your integrity, if you are willing to be racist for pay. Mm. When on the outside, you know, you are an ally for that those same communities. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, for a bag, you're willing to call somebody nigga, nigga, nigga until the cows come home. You know, so it's 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 and he kept on he kept on saying it on in the video, right? He kept on saying, "Oh, it was about the money. It was about the money." Yeah. It's kind of like you don't have to live in a penthouse. Saying, he still was denying saying the n-word anyway yeah so it was like that video he shouldn't have bothered because it it was actually pointless he literally uploaded that video for sympathy that i'm gonna and apparently it's monetized as well yeah of course it is do you do you probably see ads popping up but he he literally did it for sympathy but even i believe the story happened do you yeah i believe it but he didn't need to say it because you were talking about a foot fetish and that's not what people were angry about can I, can I ask you a question, please? Yeah. Do you think that he did the justification video the way he did it? Because at that point, he thought he got away with the nigger thing. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Because, because, because I think he, if he didn't, he would have mentioned it in the video and he didn't. The first he only he did, mentioned it by denying it though. Remember? Yeah. Because he yeah, denied yeah, the whole yeah. caption. That wasn't me. That I would never do that. Blah, blah, blah. He literally denied the whole nigger Because nigger. I think I think for you guys, I think for people that still lack comprehension and they're still defending Marad, because I, I know that a lot of you are still subscribed to him. How, how Marad only lost 20,000 20, subscribers when most of you are black that are subscribed to him is beyond me. I know a lot of you have said you're still subscribed to him because you just want to see his next move, but you don't need to be subscribed yeah. to him and put money in his pocket. You can just Google his Yeah, name. you can just, when he drops a video, <laughs> it will be all over Twitter. Sorry. You don't need to be subscribed to him to know when he drops, trust me. Even, I, even ITV News posted him. Yeah. So trust me, every single black um, American YouTuber has covered him. So trust me, you're gonna know when he drops a video. You don't need to still be subscribed to him to drop it to, to follow him. So that I don't really understand that. What do you guys think about the fact that? Um, so I think he was um, being sponsored by a, a black run oh, um, therapy. Like therapy therapy thing. What do you think about that? Because I actually think it's interesting, right? Because that's so, so, oh, go on. So that 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 organization actually sponsors a lot of YouTubers, not just um they they I think at the moment they're even sponsoring um Janelle, Chanel Ambrose. So they do they do work with a lot of black content creators as well. Mm. It's not just Marad. Um, mm, mm, how do I what do we feel about what? What's the question? No, I mean obviously they distance themselves from him quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. But I think for me it, it it's, it's it's interesting anyway. But I think um one of the things that I wanted to say is I think that it's very difficult. The way white supremacy works is that people are programmed, black people included, are, are programmed into this ideology that 
you know, the darker the specters, darker down the, the, the food chain, mm. you know, the darker down the food chain, the lower and of, of less value you are. And that that represents itself in a lot of ways in racism, yeah. in how people get jobs, in education, in, 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 in the way countries are graded, you know, third world, second world, whatever, you know, mm. it, it, white supremacy plays itself out in so many ways. But if we just talk about programming, when we talk about how people are um, raised, you know, Asian cultures, a lot of the time, when I'm sure black people, especially in this country, when you deal with, not only in this country, in Africa as well, when you come across Asian people, the kind of racism mm. that you experience from Asian, Asian people, whether it's South Asian or East Asian, mm. is ridiculous. Mm. You know, or you go to Asian countries and you experience it. You go to Europe, you experience it. So for me, I, I'm, I'm more surprised that people are surprised. What do you mean? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's confusing. We're surprised that he... That he fucked up. Oh. Because, and, 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 I think, and I think for me, that's the reason why I've always had an issue with this whole Murad thing. Because it's kind of like, why, as black people, do you need to wait for someone to fuck up? Like, you already know that this person is born into a system that... Doesn't like black That doesn't like black people. So ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, they've got to do the work to unlearn that. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with people being an ally, but... but Know your place in it. Know your place as an ally. Like for me, I'm not part of the LGBT community, but if I decide to speak on a topic, which we have, we've, we've spoken about things that affect the transgender community. Mm. We've spoken about a lot of things that, 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 that affect that community, but because we're not part of that community, we, 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 we lend our voice. There's only so far. As a yeah, guest. yeah, as we're a guest. guest. Yeah. We're a guest and it's kind of like, what I don't understand is, when are black people going to get it? that these people are guests and, and you only take, give them so much. Like you don't open the whole door, wait for them to fuck up and they think, oh, they fucked up. Of course they're gonna fuck up. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, what, I mean, what don't you get? How many times should we, re should we go down the list? The thing is not, not everyone, <laughs> not everyone fucks up or not everyone will fuck up. They all just, fuck up. They don't no, because I'm sure they, they're still some al al actual allies. Who ain't fucked, yeah, fucked up? Who ain't fucked up? I can't think of names now, but all I'm saying is, I think Murad got too comfortable and he thought he was too clever and he thought he outsmarted people because he had a black female following on, on YouTube. Then I don't think every ally, that is every non-black ally is... I don't think they all fuck up. Let me tell you one thing, right? Mm. Even if, if, if even I feel like some of not all of them go as far as Murad. That's what I'm saying. Even, even, even white, even white people, yeah, that you that 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 you're cool with on an everyday like in an everyday thing will say random things, and you're like, you might have to check them here and there. Not that they're calling you a nigger, but they're saying things that because of conditioning, because of conditioning, and also as well, even their thoughts sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like they might just say something, and you're like. Hold on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It could be a macroaggression. It could be anything. Mm. And it's, it's not intentional. It's not like they're trying to go out and say, yeah, I'm white, you're black. But it's just certain <laughs> things that... <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. No, I know what you mean. I know I, you I, mean. Okay, like, for example, let's take the Kardashians, for example. Right? We already know they are the biggest cultural, uh, 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 cultural appropriators on the planet Earth. Mm. I think if we have a definition of cultural appropriation, <laughs> they should be the, there. their picture should be there in, <laughs> yeah, in, in, top in the, the tree. top of the tree. They should be there in the Dexter Dictionary. Their faces should be there, mm. right? Stuff. <laughs> Webstar, Web sorry. Collins. Collins is the UK one. Cambridge. Oh, okay. Any dictionary you want, their faces should be there, <laughs> right? Worldwide. The Kardashians, I'm giving them an example, right? But the Kardashians represent a particular kind of white women. Is all they do is they just they just want mixed race children. Mm. They want the black aesthetic. Mm. They they, they want to look like black women without being black. without being black, right? They want to have black children. They want to date black men, but they don't want black problems, right? Okay, cool, whatever, innit? <laughs> but <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, sure, sure. I'm just saying. But let's let's go. They are problematic. They want to without the blue, right? <laughs> But they are problematic <laughs> to the <laughs> core. <laughs> <They're> pro <laughs> Do you understand? They're problematic to the core, but it doesn't mean that they, it's not, it doesn't, being problematic doesn't mean that you stand up on a podium and you say the N-word, even though we've seen um, Chloe mm. Kardashian in multiple videos using the N-word, mm. right? So, but let's just say as a whole, mm. they haven't, but you don't have to say the N-word to be problematic. Mm. Do you understand? So uh, what I'm saying is that because of white supremacy and because of the way people are non-black people and black people are conditioned within this system, they're gonna fuck up. You're gonna have to rein it in. You're gonna have to pull them up. Oh, hold on. That's not cool. You're gonna have to say one or two I, things here and there. Do you know I, what I mean? I totally so, get what you're saying, but 
I feel like because Murad, he literally submersed himself in mm. in being an ally. He called himself an ally. He rallied up the troops. He went to BLM. He done all this shit. But he literally was saying nigga, nigga, nigga in a video. Like I feel like that's a bit different. Because uh, do you think the Kardashians are calling themselves allies then? Because they're dating black men and having mixed race I, babies. I, 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 Kim Kardashian, like, yeah. Kim Kardashian, Kardashian, like, Kim Kardashian is going around freeing black men from prison. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I don't know how much more of an ally you can call that. Mm. Listen, so, uh, listen she's mean, doing I, cases that people wouldn't even touch. So do you know what I mean? I, but I, she, so I feel like she's doing her part, but she's not going over and beyond like the way Murad did. I f- look, look, I I'll feel be, like I'll Murad's honest, one. I'll, I'll be honest with you, yeah. I do think that the Kardashians have overstepped their line a few times, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Just like Murad. And, and and that's why I kind of agree with anime to an extent. I think during the whole BLM era, mm-hmm. um, we did a lot of videos on race and, um, and specifically white supremacy and how it presents itself and how it's not just about people standing in white robes being the Ku Klux Klan, that that's not what it is. And explaining to people how you can be racist without even realizing it. And there was one video and one, I can't remember what this video was, I need to find it, but there was one video where I made a statement, a very controversial statement that people didn't really like in the comments where I basically said that our, all white people are racist. And I don't think that they understood what I meant by that. And what I meant by that was is what anime is saying in that, it's not that you stand on the rooftops and call somebody a nigger. It's conditioning. And when I say all white people are racist, I don't mean only I don't only mean all white people. I mean people in general. Because of society and the way society has conditioned us and the way we see race, we all have a lot of unlearning to do, especially white people. Mm-hmm. That's what I meant by that statement. And it doesn't mean that you wake up and you think I'm white. They're niggas. They're no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's not what it means. It just means that you are acutely aware, subconsciously, that there's a big difference. Mm-hmm. You know, like when you get pulled over the poli- by the police, you're not thinking that you're going. To, you're going to the police station that day. Mm-hmm. You're not. But as black people, I told you nine times out of a ten. Even though the police don't carry guns in this country, we're already, our back's already up as soon as we're getting pulled over because mm. we already know it's going to be some shit. It's not going to be just show us your license. Show There's going to be some shit. Mm. We're just, we just thank the Lord that police in this country don't carry guns. We really do. So that's what we mean. That is what I mean, meant when I said all white people are racist. When I say white people, I mean everybody that's not black. That's what I mean. You know, and it, and what that means is there's gonna be uncomfortable situations and there's gonna be microaggressions and there's gonna be things that, like for instance, there was I told a story one time about a, a white woman that was trying me in the gym. <laughs> this woman was trying me. This woman was, I'm, I'm nearly six feet, yeah. This woman, I would say at a push, she's maybe like five, three. She's very small and very petite. And we had a back and forth in the gym. Well, she had a back and forth. I was just ignoring her, doing my bit. I put my headphones on and doing my business. But I was acutely aware that there were cameras Mm. and the cameras, I was thinking to myself, these cameras might not have sound. So I need to be careful how I- Of the optics. Of the optics, because all they're gonna see is this big black woman talking to this little white woman and the cameras are gonna make it look like I'm the aggressor, even though she was the aggressor. Mm -hmm. So I carried on. So when she left, somebody from the gym came and I complained and I said, look, there's this woman that every time I come in here, this is what she's giving me. And I don't like her, I don't like, you know, I don't really like the dynamics. And they brought up the cameras. They were like, you know, you know what? You need to be careful, you know? It's another black guy. Mm. Was basically telling me that I need to be careful because of how it's going to look. Mm. And I actually, I actually broke down in tears. Because I was just like, is this life? Mm. <laughs> is this life? And what made it more painful is that she knew. Mm. She knew. She was like, you can't do nothing, bitch. Yeah, but she yeah, knew. Yeah, yeah. She knew. Do you know what I mean? And I just had to suck it up. And the fact that another black person, the manager, is telling me I can't do nothing. You know, and anyway, long story short, he actually reported her to the management. Mm. And the management manager was a black woman. And I think because of that, she actually understood. Because if you tell the story to somebody the way it happened, they wouldn't necessarily get it. But I think as a black woman, she understood the microaggression. She understood where I was coming from. And the woman was warned. The woman was actually a yoga teacher in the place. I I didn't even know afterwards. But anyway, I say that to say all white people are racist because (laughs) that woman understood. Yeah, yeah. She understood as a white woman, the minute she turns on her white woman tears, 
where that's where that's where's that's gonna get me. Yeah. Even if I cry until the cows come home, my tears are never as powerful as hers, mm. and she knows it. People don't even see you crying. Pe- 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 people see people get angry when they see black women upset. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it almost triggers that anger. It's like, oh, wh- wh- why is you crying? crying? It doesn't invoke sympathy. Mm. It's almost like, oh, you know, suck it up kind of a thing. But when you say a white woman cry, oh my god, oh God forbid a white woman cries, the whole whole hell will come down. Mm. <laughs> You know, so do you think it's because of the things that we've just talked about now in the past five minutes? Murad obviously is fully aware of that. Of course, he's very aware. Mm. Somebody that can post a picture of him defending, he, we posted a picture of the him with his arm, the illustration of him with his arms out, like a, like Jesus Christ, the, the 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 European version of Jesus Christ, and and a, a quivering, yeah, one day quivering black woman. quivering behind him. He's, he's fully aware. He's fully aware of the optics. And the fact you know? that he actually s- studied psychology anyway, mm. it makes it even more. He, he, knows, it he, he knows. He knows. He I, knows. I, I think for me, what is going to be interesting now is how black people respond when, um, when he finally comes back. Mm. to Because he will. At the end of the day, he's a narcissist. And he makes his money from social media. So he will come back. You know, even though I'm sure he makes a lot of money from his foot, foot game. You know, he claims that those videos are five years old, but... Your master boy website was collecting money last year. So can, can we just say that, that I was right though about Murad being a master boy? No, not oh, make I, it, I mean, I never, I never saw that. Ah! I mean, make well, it I mean other, about, about, other about the fact that he wasn't making his money just from YouTube. Mm. Can we just say it? Like, okay, right. so Shay, so basically Shay was basically saying that she knows for a fact that he's not sitting in a penthouse Jet set into New York. Obviously, now we know he was flying around the world oh, offering his services. Slapping his feet. Slapping his feet around <laughs> the world. You know, <laughs> He was given, he was given, you know, exclusive slapping. exclusive feet slapping <laughs> services around the world. So Shay was basically saying that she knows for a fact that he's not making, because that's the thing, we make money from YouTube, but that's not our only source of income. Like we're not able to be sitting airing Versace robes doing what we're doing just from YouTubes. Like we're entrepreneurs, we make money. You know, we're lawyers, we're project managers, we do other things. Program you know, we managers. work for ourselves. So, <laughs> like, huh? program, program managers. Sorry, program managers. <laughs> Project manager, you know, we 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 do stuff. So Shay was that saying that she knows for a fact that he's got other things. Obviously, we never thought you'd be a sex worker, but he should have owned everyone. Yeah. Do you, man? Everyone's on OnlyFans doing their thing. Not everyone is on. If OnlyFans I had the balls, if I didn't have, if I didn't have so many tattoos, I I think I would do OnlyFans. Would you? But I just oh, thought, you'd be... yeah, because I feel like I'm too distinctive. See, people, somebody, and I've got I've got loads of burns as well on my body. So there's no way I couldn't even be able to lie. I've got burns on I my I mean, head. it depends what, what bit of your I, I would be like a secret phony OnlyFans. Like, I'd wear a mask. Yeah, like, I'd wear a mask and you'd just so see my body. So if you wear body. costumes, you don't, you don't have to be naked. Nah, yeah. nah people you don't, don't make... Nah, you've got, you got to be naked on OnlyFans to make money. To make it money, you, to shake your ass, you... Nah. It depends. You can wear... There's there's a lot of these BDSM outfits that the crotch is out. There's... there's, there's, yeah. there's you don't it's have to be naked. I've got a tattoo on my fan, fanny as well, so... Oh, yeah, okay, okay, well, yeah, it'll be recognised then. <laughs> Sorry, love. Yeah, sorry, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, it guys. Yeah, but, but guys, the thing is, though... It, I, I feel like OnlyFans gets a, a rap, a yeah, bad rap, because it's not just sex workers yeah. on OnlyFans. There's people selling content that is not to do with showing their fanny and mm. swinging their tits on there. Mm. There's actually people on there offering <laughs> <laughs> content that's, that's... No, but that's, but, but that's, 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 not, that's not sex... Because apparently OnlyFans that started was, hmm. and it wasn't a sex site. Mm, it was true. literally... It was like musicians, artists, people that actually had fans to sell their content and it wasn't sexual. And there's nothing wrong with you. If you want to suck dick or whatever online or slap your feet in people's nipples or whatever, it is you want to do in their mouth in the, sorry in their mouth I'm sure he was doing nipples nipple he was as well <laughs> well there was one where he was sitting on someone's face I saw that I was farting in their mouth was I saw him was fart- I saw farting oh. the farting one that I saw he was, wearing, he was wearing his blue he was farting he was fart- selling his farts he was farting oh, selling in fart. a jar farts in a jar <laughs> <laughs> no, you saw a fart and you fart in someone's mouth. Maybe, maybe that's like oh, that's a move. That's that's, that's like, like a, that's like a little bit more expensive. Mm. Then so if you, so you want an eggy fart, if you want to, yeah, if you, maybe you eat an egg sandwich before <laughs> you want to fart in their mouth so that it's got more. Or eat like an onion bhaji so that it's more <gasps> onion bhaji. <onion-y. laughs> <Onion-y fart. laughs> Ew, like I'm gonna be fart. sick. Yeah, Marad, listen, I need you to publish your books. We need to see all this money. I was about the money. How much money did you make? Because someone saw your accounts and you only made ninety grand. Oh, that's a lot of money, including YouTube. You're doing all of that. You're doing nigga, nigga, nigga for now. If you were, if you were making a cool <laughs> nah, back, hang like, on, hang on. Was the, the, the accounts you saw? Was it just his Arab boy account? Or he it didn't say. He just said Murad Morelli. That could just be the mm. foot stuff. Okay, so you and might maybe the YouTube. And remember, at the end of the day, if you've got a good accountant, 
Mm. Yeah, true, true. Let's be honest. He, 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 listen, don't then fought things. He definitely made more than ninety grand. Yeah, definitely. Because remember the web was offering. Yeah, because remember alone the whoop, um, you 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 make AdSense from the web Google website. Google pays you oh, as well. Nice. And can I just say yeah. something as well? So so um, a lot of people, a lot of content creators were doing reactions. Obviously, when this whole thing leaked, and there was one in particular, a a, a, a trans woman based mm. in South Africa, oh. a black trans woman at, based in South Africa. And she basically said she met Maraud in, I think it was around the whole BLM thing. Mm. So it was either 2019 or 2020, but I know it was around BLM. So she said she met Maraud and she he announced that he was coming to South Africa. I think he was coming to Cape Town. So when she saw that, she basically DM'd him and said, look, if you want to meet up and you want me to show you around, let me know. Mm. So she said how he responded. So she, she was shocked that he responded. So... He said, yeah, when I get to Cape Town, I'll, I'll, or Joburg, I can't remember where it was, but it was South Africa. I'll, I'll holler at you. So true, true is when he arrived in South Africa, he messaged her and said, look, I'm here. That Look, I'm going to a party. You know, if you want to come, feel free. So she said she was excited because she was like, oh my God, I'm going to go to a party and I'm going to hang out with this um, um, Marad guy. So she said, closest to the party, Marad sent her a message and said, look, I'm just giving you a warning that this party is going to be predominantly white gay men and you might not feel comfortable. So she said she was taken aback a little bit because she was like, oh, why is he, you know, messaging me? But she said, anyway, Mara's going to be there, isn't it? So it well, she, cool. well, she she felt like it was because he's an ally, maybe he was giving her the heads up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also as well, she said she felt that he's going to be there. So if anything happens, at least mm. I'm not going to be by myself because yeah. there's, there's a, another POC there. Yeah. She said also as well, her roommate is a white man, white gay man, and he was going to the party. She found that he was going. Mm. So obviously they were all going to be there. So she said when she got to the party, she was experiencing a lot. Obviously you're in South Africa with white men. Mm. On top of it, they're gay and you're a, a black trans woman. It's like you've got every single, mm. <laughs> <laughs> every single marginalized group in one person, yeah. right? You're dark skin, you're black and you're trans. Mm. And you're in a and room, you're a trans woman, trans woman, and you're exactly you're a trans woman, and you're Misogyna. in a room, you're in yeah, you're, you're in a room full of white men in South Africa, one of the most racist countries in the world, mm. and they're all white, right? So she said, when she got there, she started experiencing microaggressions. There were people commenting about her appearance. Like she kept just, on misgendering. They her. kept on misgendering her. She said, ah, she felt so uncomfortable, and she said, how Murad was just ignoring, like he, he didn't went about his business. You know, he, he didn't defend her. So she said, ah, you know, it was really upsetting to her. And she just said how, you know, that there was an older gay man in there that he was kind of talking to her and trying to make her feel a bit more comfortable. But she said that experience for her straight, as soon as she got back, she unsubscribed and she just, you know, but she said for her, that experience showed that he's not what he says he is. Mm. Like he's one way in front of the camera and he's one way out. Black women went to this this woman's comments and dragged her. Oh, mm. uh, uh, you're reaching. Oh, your clutch. Uh, your I just thought, are these women okay? Mm. You're still defending Marad after all of this. Like, I'm sorry, but TCA, you lot have got a lot of work to undo. You've got a lot of coonery and a lot of self-hate to unpack because I don't understand. Like, does did she have to spell out why she was upset with Marad? Mm. She's gone to a party... First of all, as, a ally, why is, as an ally, why is Mirage comfortable in that kind of setting in the first place? Mm. Why are you comfortable in that kind of... You've gone to Money! Africa. Yeah, maybe he was going there to go and do, do foot for it. Obviously. They were probably his customers. Yeah. Do you understand? But it's like, they couldn't understand why she was upset. Mm. All they were just seeing was a black woman on camera cussing Mirage and their automatic I reaction was, was to... I thought she was actually quite respectful, to be honest. Mm. Considering what she had went through... I actually thought she was actually quite 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 respectful. I thought the way she, she was. delivered delivered the content. I mean, look, I think I think a lot of people, keyboard warriors, I think a lot of people don't really know how to. I don't think I don't think comprehension is is necessarily a, their skill or their their suit, should I say? Um, so you know, yeah, it's not it's not, it's not quite it's their not, suit. It's not, my suit. It's not their suit. <laughs> so I, I I think you know I, I you know in in their defence, and I think you know it, her video was quite long, and I think it would have to be a lot longer for her to actually drill down and spell yeah. out why she was. You know, obviously I think we're quite smart that we could put two and two together and we, we knew why she was upset. Well, if they can un if they can understand Mara's videos where he uses words out of context, I'm sure they could have understood her. I don't videos. think they do understand. <sighs> I don't think he understands his own videos. He literally talks gibberish. Like, I feel like a lot of the time watching his videos, yeah. he's always flip-flopping and then he never uses the right words. Like, he just throws w yeah. random 
long words in. He doesn't even say them properly. So half of the words don't even make sense. For the acute, for the psychology. Yeah, of the it's like, we all know you've around, done the racism like, and the articulation. In it. It, They're like, yes, my rods. Like, honestly, psychology what? coming through. Yeah. Is that oh, what is that? You're not even making sense. Oh, okay. Open your coon eyes. Oh, oh dear. Anyway. Anyway. Me, anyway. <laughs> so, 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 so for me, I, I, I mean, it's like, I, I thought about this Murad thing, you know, um, obviously over the over the, the few, a car, past couple of um, weeks. And I've been thinking to myself that obviously Murad being that, I, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that people didn't know he was gay. I, th I thought that was quite interesting, but apparently a lot of people are shocked that he's gay. I mean, I thought he was obvious, but anyway. Um, I think the for me, obviously, I think if you look at his background, the fact that he's Muslim, he's he's um um he's part Arab and all the other places that he's from and that you know, and that he's gay, that in itself would have been an issue for him. And that is probably why he has he feel he felt that he couldn't be embraced by his own people. So that's why he found some another community to be embraced by. That's the way I'm That's rubbish. It. Yeah. You don't think so? That's, that's rubbish. End of the day, he's, he's not he's not the only gay Asian person. He's he's not a loophole when he There's loads of them. At the end of the day, he, he he basically saw that black women are dumb and will lap anything <gasps> up. I'm sorry, no, no. The end of the day, you can't say black no, women are dumb. I'm not dumb. Okay, okay, all right then, all right then, all right then. He saw that black women are looking for a white savior. End of the day, okay, Marad was not saying anything that any other black content creator was not saying. They were, we would, on our, on our platform, we would shout out black content creators, male, black male content creators that were all the time that would speak up against when black women we're experiencing misogynoir, when black women were experiencing colorism, we would speak about it all when the time. Being by the police. Yeah, we would speak about it all the time. There are other black men talking about this. Go to their platforms and hear what they've got to say. Mirage is not the only one. Do you know what I mean? But then it's like, we would be called haters and oh, why are you talking about Mirage? You lot are just jealous, blah, blah, blah. No, we're not jealous, we're, we're pointing at your coonery. Now look, now look, you look dumb. You look dumb. Anyway. I mean, hopefully the, the dumb, <laughs> hopefully the the, 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 uh, the dumb black bitches <laughs> that support him will now start venturing out. Dumb black bitches, that's yeah. D B B. Hopefully the D B B S <laughs> will now start, you know, broadening their horizons and looking for black um, content creators because. There was one um, YouTube video I watched because obviously after this news broke out, breaking news. After it broke out, there were a lot of people uploading YouTube mm. videos talking about it. And there was one, I can't remember her name anyway, but there was a, um, a black woman, American woman. She basically said, oh, um, she discussed it a little bit and she said, you know, whatever, that wasn't an apology video that he did. Um, and then she said, so we need to start supporting black mm. uh, content creators. Mm. So she said, oh, if you've got any, just put them in the comments, mm. any that mm. I can go and watch or, you know, just make suggestions. And our name came up quite a lot. I forgot oh, to actually wow. say Yeah, I saw yeah. that, I saw that. I think, I, and, and, and and I think that's what it is. I think for us, you know, people always say that people. A lot of times, people come like when we started doing video reactions. That was something that was quite controversial about our channel because a lot of the time, when things weren't sitting right for, with us, especially racially, we would say it. And this was before BLM and all of that. We would say it. We wouldn't. We wouldn't. I mean, a lot of the time, it would be like in a tongue and cheek way, but mm -hmm. we would say it. And and then you had like artists like Tom McDonald and other artists that would come out and they would they would definitely play on race and then we would you know um, say it. Um, so I think we've always been that those that kind of content creator. But one thing we've also been as well is that a lot of the time we will always direct you to other black content yeah. creators. We've always done that, um, and people don't have to do it to us. Like we don't really care. But for us, we are really big on supporting other black content mm. creators, and it's not because. We're, we're, race, we're racist or whatever that means. Because at the end of the day, I watch a lot of white content creators as well. I watch Molly May. I used to be obsessed with Jeffree Star. Mm. I'm sorry, I did. Mm. I did. So at the end of the day, it's even not- Shane Dawson. Even, yeah, yeah. Say, even Shane, Shane Dawson, Dawson movies, documentaries mm. and all of that. Like I probably, I'm sure if we go through our, um, our subscription on YouTube, we probably follow more we probably watch a lot more white content creators that, or we'll probably follow or subscribe to more white content, but that's because there is more white content on YouTube anyway. But you know what I mean? So it's not just, everything is not just black, 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 black. No, that's not what we're saying. But what we're saying is, is that the way race works and the way white supremacy works by default, 
black creators, the algorithm does not favor them. Mm. So that's why we're directing you to like, look, the, the white content creators don't need, listen, they don't need your support. Exactly. They, they, they've got this, they're the fine. The algorithm is, we'll recommend the algorithm them. Will recommend, yeah, so don't worry about, even the people talking about Mirage, most of the videos that we are being recommended are white content creators talking about it. Mm. So at the end of the day, they don't need your, that's why we're directing you, go and follow this small black YouTuber. Go and follow this, go and follow, it helps, it all helps. So for us, it's not, it's always been about that. And even when we watch like reality TV shows and whatever, we always try and support, you know, the the, the black contestants and whatever, whatever, because they don't get the support. They don't get the camera time. They don't get, the, it just is what it is. So that is the reason why we do what we do. But at the same time, just because we, we need, white people to stop being so sensitive because it feels like they are really sensitive. It's like, if we say we support black, oh, that means you don't support, no, it doesn't actually mean we don't support you because I remember when Molly May was on Love Island, she was actually my, my favorite. Mm. Molly May and um, who else was my favorite on there? That season, I think yeah. I think I just liked her. You know, I don't know why Fiat Five Hundred like didn't her. like her. Actually, they like, didn't um, like her because they wanted to. Be Amber her. was nice. Like yeah, them. yeah. They Amber wanted to nice. be her. That's why they didn't like. They her. really didn't mm. like Molly. They wanted to be her. But I liked Molly May, and I still like Molly May. Yeah. So for me, you know, it's not when we say it's always it is when people say it's not always about race. It is always about race. Mm. But you can discuss race without feeling like it's an attack on you if you've done the work. Mm. If you've done the work, yeah. End of the day, as black people, we're forced to always think about our race, but you, because white people are the default, they don't. Mm. Like for example, I saw a video, I can't remember what it was about, but in the comments, it was on TikTok and in the comments, people were saying, oh my God, yeah, children don't see color, blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of like, well, when they're babies, they don't, but when they get to an age where they can actually articulate themselves, they do because white being white is the default. Mm. You don't think children notice that there's a difference between the way they're like treated and the way, you don't think they notice that I go to my school and I see black children, but when I turn on my TV, I hardly see black children. Like you don't think children mm. pick up on them things, they do. Or mis mistreats them differently. Yeah. Than she treats me. Or, yeah. You know I mean, te the teachers, the education system is, is they, we know that that's racist as well. They know. Everything is racist. That's the thing, like, like children pick up on it. They might, they might not know what to call it, mm. but they know. Mm. So when, Adults, white adults say, oh, children don't see color. They do see color and you should want them to see color and embrace difference and to celebrate difference and to understand why they are different and understand what privilege comes with that. Mm -hmm. So they can act accordingly. Exactly. But when you want them to, when you try and pretend that they don't see it and I don't see it and whatever, then it's, it's not like, helpful. you're not helping. Yeah. You're, literally, you're literally making the situation worse. You should see color. I've never dated, I was saying to Adam and Kay, I've never dated a white guy before. I'm approached by white men all the time, but I've never dated a white guy before. But I'm not gonna lie and say, I. Don't don't see that he's white. I do. Mm. I clearly see that he's white. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, at the day, like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't particularly think I'm racist, but I, I probably do well, have you, biases. Yeah, you have. Biases. I probably do have, have biases, but I'm not going to lie and say that he's not white. I know that he's white. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like when people say we don't, just like he knows I'm black. Mm. So don't don't pretend like you don't see color. It's okay to see color. It's actually okay, guys. Mm -hmm. See the color, like Anime said, embrace it, but just do that internal work. So mm -hmm. recognize your biases when they happen. Just recognize that. Like there's one, there's, there's this um, YouTube, um, this on, on um, sorry, TikTok. I can't remember the name of the couple, if I remember it. It's a black woman and a white man. And they went traveling, I think it was to Italy. And Italy is one of, is very, very racist. Um, it's a nice, it's a very nice um, place, but you know, it can have, just like a lot of Europe, to be honest. Mm. Um, but anyway, and he said that when they would go to the market somewhere ever, he noticed like the way his girlfriend was being treated. So because of that, he had to step in a lot of the times. He knows that she's a black woman yeah. and he knows he's a white man. Like it just is what it is. Mm. Like she was just happy that he recognized it mm. and he dealt with it accordingly. Mm. I don't think any black person would be upset with that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like. It just is what it is. It's the way the world is. And if you want me to date you as a white man, you have to be real, keep it real and let's keep it real. And let's do the work. Do the work. Let's do the work and let's move accordingly. None of this bullshit of I don't see color. You do. The world sees it. And if we have kids, you better see color. Mm. You better see color. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, we've gone off the whole Mirage yeah, topic. But anyway, let's to round off the whole Mirage thing for me, when, okay, let's take, let's do a bet. When do you think he's coming back to YouTube? I think he's coming back this week. What? I yeah, said maybe we'll do another apology because oh, an actual Address apology. The first one, yeah, yeah. I think he should do a Shane Dawson because Shane Dawson did that, innit? Do you know what I think Mariah's going to do? I think he'll do an interview. I think someone's going to interview him. Will I think hopefully Will interviews him? 
I don't think he's ready for Will, you know? No, I generally think I he's think just going to upload another video and just retract things he wouldn't and just will make an actual him. apology. If, if, if Will will drag him. He, he, he won't let Will interview him. Do you think Will will drag him? No, but Will will do it in I like a sly will. way. Like, you see the way? Yeah, did yeah. you watch the interview with... Um, with um, Damien and Intel. Yeah, I saw, I saw. He, he's so, slick with it. We were slick with it. But that's but what I'm saying. I don't think he's going to interview him. I don't know. Mm. I, I, I mean, I, I think Will interviewing Murad would be amazing. That would be, that would be. That Will, would be. if you hear this, you need to, you need to contact Murad and do an interview him. Because at the end of the day, I know when it first went viral, you, were, you said you were sleeping. We all know you were <laughs> We sleep. know you were awake. We know you were sleeping. Don't use Twitter. <laughs> yeah, we know you were Come sleeping. On, so let's not go there. Will, you know we're calling you out. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we, we were sleeping too. <laughs> yeah, so, we were all sleeping. Yeah, we were all sleeping together. Mm. So, what? Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, now we're all awake. Yeah, I do think Will would be a good person to, mm. to, to interview mm. Murad. But um, yeah, I mean, let's see. And when he comes back, it'll be interesting to I, see. I, I want Murad to come back. I, I, I want Murad to come back and I want him to take ownership over what he's done. Literally. You know what I mean? I, I think... I, I think disappear again. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I think I think if people like J- Shane Dawson and... Um, um, what's the other one? Jeffree Star? Jeffree Star. If, I think if there's a, there's a lot of YouTubers that like that, that have done some really appalling things and they've come back and, and made, still made a career. I don't see why Murad can't do that as well. I just want Murad to know his place. He should just, that's if all. he wants to come back, he should focus on other content and just stay away from black shit. That's, that's, all that's, that's, that's all he does. Yeah, like. so find something new then. You know what I mean? Like, start talking about your own community. community. He used to do fashion. What did he used he to do? He did like, do, yeah. So why yeah. don't you just stick to he, that? He, he did, did RuPaul fashion Drag Race. He used to do RuPaul Drag Race as well. Oh, no, I don't mean, oh, so didn't he call himself like a fashion, fashion blogger or something? I'm really? sure he's a, yeah. on his YouTube description. You should, do, you should, you should, you should model shoes, <laughs> model shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, model shoes. He might get a deal. <laughs> <gasps> Maybe he'll get a model deal. Model shoes, model, model um, Crocs, flip flops. No, he needs to be something that shows his toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah model, model flip flops. Model sling backs. <laughs> <laughs> no, model thong. <laughs> model mules. <laughs> You guys. Model wedges, no. It, I think, it, I, I think open I'm, toe wedges. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. I think I think you should do. Yeah, I think I think you should keep. What you should do is focus on your own communities. I think if you do that, focus on your own communities, and I, I, I think you should do. I think you should. You should there's definitely a niche for talking about reformed racism. Uh, I wasn't going to say that actually. I was going to say. Oh I was going to say talking about marginalized communities within the LGBTQ. I do think that that in itself. Is a niche. I don't think. I don't think most of the people setting up Twitter spaces were black gay men. I yeah. don't think they. I don't think they, they want to. I wasn't talking about was black. Like, I wasn't talking about black. Okay, I was talking Asian. about Asian. Yeah, I wasn't oh, talking about black. Well, he's, he's custom Arab- as well, isn't it? So. It's well, I mean, so, so <laughs> no, it's just a focus on fashion. <laughs> focus on <laughs> shoes, Mirage. <laughs> shoes. I, I, I talk about if you're going to talk about race, talk about you doing the work to stop being racist. That's what you need to talk about. I would respect that. Mm. If you're going to talk, do you know what I mean? I would respect that. He should cover that in his apology video. If he does his apology video, because I'm going to do the work, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to read I'm a books. racist. No, my <laughs> name is Murad and I'm a racist. Yeah. <laughs> you should do all of that. If he starts putting up content about that, yeah. saying I'm, I'm, I'm doing um, the work, yeah. I'm, I'm learning, I've, I've read this book, I've read that. I think we will respect you more because mm. it's a different angle. Mm. But we don't want to hear what you've got to say because you're trash. You're trash. Mm. I'm sorry. When it comes to talking about black people, Asian community and whatever, now we know it's not coming from a sincere place. It's just money. We don't want to hear it. It's just money. You're just seeing dollar signs, isn't it? Yeah. It's money for you. So yeah, anyway, I think that's enough about him. So I don't want to talk about you anymore. So right. guys, don't send yeah. any hate. Good luck in all don't, your don't, don't send any hate, guys. Don't send any hate. <laughs> Don't, don't send any hate to Murad, guys. No yeah. hate, hey. I think no you've had enough. Const- daily inconsistent. Yeah, but uh, people were saying that in his comments, someone has been saying that, Murad, I thought you were daily inconsistent and we want you to come back. So anyway, hopefully Murad does come back and, you know, it actually comes back with a video that makes sense and doesn't just <laughs> carry on as business as usual because I don't think that would be cool. But, you know, he's still got over 250k subscribers. He's, he's still got nearly 300,000 subscribers. So 270,000? Yeah, so I, I, he hasn't really damaged him. So I think, I think he, he should come back sooner rather than later. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, wish him the best of luck but I do think that this should be an eye opener to the black community about fake allies do you know what I mean not everybody is woke the way they seem some people have got a few buzzwords and they just use them and they don't really mean it deep down do you know what I mean and also as well like and even if they do mean it every, people they can make mistakes but it's how you redeem yeah. yourself yeah and, and also as well even if they mean it stop giving people access like mm. full access like I don't understand mm. like we need to be guarded. We need to protect. We don't protect our culture. People culture appropriate, and then we complain about it. Mm. Like we've got to, you've got to be guarded. 
So, yeah. All right, guys, that's our thoughts on Murad Morelli. So let us know what your thoughts. Um, it's going to be very interesting. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so this is um, Chicane Pod. We hope you enjoyed it. I don't want too much for you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh.